That's one of the things that I love seeing around the holidays is our military men and women in uniform, you know, giving their holiday greetings and everything. And what a sacrifice that they make, of course, working through the Christmas holiday. Absolutely. They're the reason we're able to enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely, Logan. Well, welcome back to American Agenda. Our next guests are making a great effort this holiday season to ensure that we remember and honor our troops overseas who have left empty seats at their holiday tables to defend our country. And the two sisters started an organization called Operation Military Christmas, where they provide ways on how to bring Christmas to our military members. And joining us now to talk more about this are sisters and co-founders of the Unite the USA, Carrie and Stacy Stolting. And Carrie and Stacy, thank you for joining us today. Uh, what allowed you to get involved in this work? Was it your personal connection or was it anything that maybe you saw over the course of the last couple of years? Oh, wow. It is definitely a personal connection. Uh, it goes back to when we were actually on our way to see our grandma and we witnessed a fatal accident. Uh, and as young women, uh, we were not uh, prepared for such a, such a trauma. And uh, we basically, we, we saw, uh, saw the man uh, who was hit head on uh, he was a motorcyclist, not wearing a helmet, and we rushed to his side and we prayed with him to receive Christ as he bled to death. Mm -hmm. And so it was a very intense experience. Now you're probably thinking, well, how does that connect with this? Well, we realized that that trauma, which was very, very difficult for us uh, to overcome, the after effects, the post-traumatic aspects, you know, uh, but that was just a tiny taste of what each American hero has been willing and has faced for us. You know, I think of what the Bible says about greater love has no man than this than to lay down one's life for his friends. And that's exactly what each veteran, each member of our, our services, they, they uh, have been willing to do that for us. So the least we can do is do something. And I had already written a book when I was 15. It's a long story, but I sung for the president and have sung for presidents since then. Um, he, uh, the Lord has really opened doors. So we've been able to reach out to a lot of people and the last couple of years have only intensified our outreach. Yeah, so, Carrie, Stacey, I'll, tell us a little I'll bit about what you guys do <laughs> with Operation Military <laughs> Christmas. Well, there's so much we can do to reach out to our servicemen and women and their families, veterans, uh, those who are willing to put so much on the line for us. Yes. So it's important to realize that at the Christmas season that there are so many people who are deployed around yes. the world right now. So we need to do what we can to reach out and thank them, and reach out exactly. to family members and Operation Military Christmas. We have a lot of tips on our website how to reach yes. out. Um, special one right now is a virtual parade for heroes where uh, military families and veterans um, past and present can send us their pictures. They'll be included in a virtual parade at the first of the year. Yes. So if you send pictures to info at unitetheusa.org, info at unitetheusa.org, it can be included in that special event. Yes. Um, lots of tips that uh, any American can do to reach out, uh, like um, as simple as picking up the phone and saying, I'm thinking of you this Christmas mm -hmm. as your loved ones are serving or sending a card. That's a really great tip for our viewers, yeah. Logan. Absolutely. So, yeah. so what type of responses do you guys get? Oh, they are just over the top amazingly appreciative and that really gets us because we're the ones to be appreciative exactly. and so basically we hear from families we hear from veterans themselves we hear from troops and just the amazing response because apparently a lot of people do tend not to remember to do something during the holiday season it's so hectic but this is the time this is the time to reach out and another idea is to just send a meal uh, now, that may sound funny, but use DoorDash or something. Yeah. Send a meal to a military family this So many Christmas. small and things, you know, Carrie and Stacy, that you can do. Um, really wonderful work that you both do. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. Oh, well, yeah, we thank you guys for joining you. us. And, and we appreciate every veteran listening, every military family. You are loved by God. And Amen to that. Merry Christmas and God bless you both. Merry Christmas. The same to you. Thank you. <laughs> All right.
All right, switching gears a bit, the Vatican's kicking off Christmas celebrations tonight, but with some noticeable